Everywhere you go in the black communities, there are those establishments set up to teach this. This is a trap. This is a curse to keep you in captivity. Right. Yeah, yeah. You understand that? Yeah. Do you understand that first? Yeah, I understand. Okay. So how is this a snare now? It's not. I'm teaching you the truth of it. This is our table. That is our table. So that is the snare. Right. No, no, no. Listen. Where do, where, do, where do you have your representation of this from? White man. White man. Church. White man. Church. The wicked. The evil man. Uh -huh. white man. Right, right. Which he snared. But down. where do you he get it? For us In there, there, right? In there, right? No, listen, but I'm this sorry. is not their records. If this was their records, or if this was for them, their own destruction forever would not be written therein. That's right. You understand that? You're telling me they don't have the will to change that? Who don't have the will to change this? Man, they don't have of course he wants to, but he can't. So he has no power over this. Right. Isn't, isn't, isn't he has no this, power over this. Isn't this record our table? Yes. yes. Isn't it snare? No. How comes it not if we're on the corner? Watch it. Read. So get, go back to where he just read. I don't know if you was paying attention because you was standing right there. Go back to Isaiah 28. Go back to Isaiah 28. Now listen carefully. Listen no, you're carefully. Not, you're not understanding what I'm I saying. am understanding you. It, this, it was designed in the prophecy, but that thing should become a snare to us. So therefore, how is how has it become a snare? I don't know, but it says it just now. That there. That, no. Okay. Give me Malachi. Give me Malachi uh, two and seven. No, no, no. You're not listening. Give me let Malachi read, two and seven. Let him read it over again. Give me Malachi two and seven. Let him read it over again. You know what you you know what you, the, the best thing you should you can do right now is ask questions. Don't come preloaded with your nonsense. I don't have ask questions. I never read the Bible. You, that was preloaded what you just said. What? That question. Where? Or that statement you just made. Come on, you got it? I said I never read it. Listen carefully. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So what's inside this building here? The priest. Same thing. No, the priest. The priest is inside that building. Anybody come who's coming on behalf of this Bible, it's supposed to be called a priest, or a pastor is another word, right? Or minister is another word. Or reverend is another word. So you, you are that. Yes, we all are that. You're supposed to be as well. That's right. You're supposed to be as well. Okay. Right? Read it again. And they should, oh, excuse me. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Uh -huh. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So how is it that this Bible has become a snare unto us? Because in those places, they're not teaching the law. And we are not seeking the law at their lips. You understand? You know what we're seeking? They say, you come in, a broke black man trying to act rich. You come in broke as hell with, with a little bit of shine on. And they say, okay. All right, yeah. So you know what my people like? My people need money. My people pro need prosperity. So I'm going to teach them that if they give me... Say five dollars, I got a five thousand people here. If each one of them give me five dollars, I'ma be good. And I all they want is for me to tell them that they will in turn get all the money or the riches that I talk to them about and say that it's of God. You understand? That's how it becomes a snare and a trap. But they don't teach us that we are right now, currently, presently, in captivity. And we must repent, come back to God's laws. To receive the wealth and riches of this Bible. They don't teach that. Neither do they teach how to return to God's laws or how to repent. Right, right. You understand? So when he said, read it again. What shall we seek at the priest's lips? For the priest's lips should keep knowledge uh -huh. and they should seek the law at his mouth. So what shall we seek when we go to those buildings? No, what, read it again. You, Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, uh -huh. and they should seek the law at his mouth. Can you understand what he just said? Yeah. What oh. shall we see? The law. It's the law. Okay. Aren't you giving okay. me blessings? I hope so. It's only blessings if you take no, it and live. Listen, blessings? it's only blessings if you take it and apply it, and until Christ come, you keep it. That's right. That's only the time. Otherwise, I'm an abomination to you. You hate me. You understand? If you don't take what I say, you're not blessed by me. You understand that? Right. Get you. All right. Okay. Come on. Was that it on that? Yes, sir. Now give me uh, Isaiah 28. That's where I told you to go? You find that answer? Yeah, I got it. All right. Come on. Okay. You. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you this. And it's so because this is what you have to do. You heard repent. Change, right? You heard all of that, right? 
So what you got to do? I'm going to read some more. Read what? I guess the Bible. Yeah, read, read what though? You got to be taught. You must be taught. You must be taught. Everybody, you see how old look, old men out here. Old men, this ain't all, it's a lot of young men, but it's no, we're not all young. Old men out here had to be taught. Had to be taught. I don't understand this without being taught. Huh? It's a lot of teachers. It's a lot of teachers. If you apply these laws and these statutes and commandments, one day you will become a teacher, right, as you're right. supposed to be. Right, right. All the men of Israel are supposed to be teachers, right. pastors, priests, kings. You understand? Kings are not dumb. They're wise. You understand? You're supposed to be a king and a priest. That's right. Unto the Lord. That's what you're supposed to be. Right? Oh yeah. No, drop that. Just uh, go to um, uh, Acts three nineteen. All right. And this is you. You. You must. You must. You must. No, no, no. We're gonna drop that because it's time to go. But you must. Yeah. Get Matthew twenty six. You must uh, uh, be taught, and you gotta come sincere. You understand? It's a lot of filth that we didn't picked up along the way in this captivity. Right. A lot of heritages of other people that we picked up. Especially you in Jamaica. Y'all got two hammers out there. You got uh, uh, Rastafarianism and you got uh, um, Christianity. It's heavy out there. Y'all get free Catholic school. That's crazy. Y'all are well indoctrinated in Jamaica. So you have a, you have a very, very uh, 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 heavy role to play in waking your people up in Jamaica. And here, because it's a lot of your people to come here as well. You are, you are our people, but you understand what I'm saying. You're people who are born in Jamaica and the West Indies, right? You have a you have a tall job, brother. You got to teach your people there. You got to teach your mom, all your people that's left there, that's, that's your the immediate family. You got to wake them up first. And if they don't wake up, move on. Move on, wake the people up there. Teach them the truth so we can get out of captivity. Right, right. You understand? Right. Come on, where are we at? This is what you got to do. Come on. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore. So it says repent. Repent is spiritual, right? That's in your mind. That's in your spirit. Repent ye therefore. Read. And be converted. And be converted. That goes into if you apply what you've repented from into the laws. If you apply those things. If you begin to live those things. You understand? Keep those things. You understand? Repent. Meaning understand what you've done and the way you've been living is wrong according to the Bible. And then be converted. What converts you? What converts you? Hold on. Read, finish that, and then we get what converts you. And be converted uh -huh. that your sins, that your what? Your sins uh -huh. may be blotted out. Uh -huh. That's what blots your sins out. When the Most High God sends the Messiah, the real black Messiah back, brother, you don't want to be found in sin. Right. You don't want to be found in sin. You've been taught hugs and kisses by this beast when he returns. The reality, the truth is, death and destruction when the true Messiah, the true black Messiah returns. Yes, That's right, the right, truth. Right. You don't want to be found in sin when the real Messiah returns. Re go, now give me Acts. Now let's find out what converts you. What converts you? What, what things do you apply? Hold on, hold on. What things do you apply? Do you live by? Do you walk by? Do you act by? Do you teach by? Do you everything by that converts you, that changes you? Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Nothing wrong with it. Converting the soul. So what converts your soul? What, after you've repented, what makes you change? The, the law of the Lord. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of God, they're perfect. They convert your soul. Read. Converting the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Making wise the simple. You might have thought you had some understanding before. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. You understand? But you got to come as a child to the Lord. You got to come as a child. You know it's the, You know why the Lord said come as a child? Because a child ain't preloaded with all this nonsense and garbage. Right. So you teach a child everything that he's supposed to do. Child ain't got nothing up there. No, I'm not doing that. I like doing this instead. You understand that? That's what Christ means. That's what it means to be born again. Born again. Your little baby. Everything is uploaded. Nothing downloaded.
working so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew it sound odd For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it sound wrong, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.